So today I am here with my friend Sarah and mm. together with uh, four women she started a special kind of prayer group. And before we hear about her prayer group I want to read you a Bible verse. It says in Matthew 18 verse 20 where two or three people gather together there I will be with them. And Sarah you really experienced that with mm. your special kind of prayer group. Tell us about what is what is the group all about? about? Yeah, we were a group of four women from the ladies ministry and we met every Thursday morning at six o'clock. Oh wow, that's <laughs> so early. Yeah, it is. But it, is, it was quiet in our houses because the children are still sleeping and we took a half hour of prayer. So, but how did you meet when you lived all far away from each other? Yeah, we, we used this uh, Skype uh, app and then we could uh, have a meeting together. It was fascinating. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds so crazy. Meeting in prayer yeah. with technology, I really love that. <laughs> and my question is Sarah, can you experience God when you meet with internet? Is that possible? Yes, because you're not alone. I mean, we, I woke up at six, you're not uh, wearing any makeup or uh, you really get up from the bed and then you meet your friends. This is really nice. You see them. And uh, can you remember that you experienced God in a personal way? Yeah, once I woke up 10 minutes too late and uh, I went uh, to downstairs and I knew they were already praying and I was really tired. So I uh, took the phone and we, I get to the meeting and it was so encouraging to see all these ladies and they were praying for me and just my day was really different because I, had this, uh, I met my friends and we prayed together. So I find it a really crazy idea, meeting once a week for half an hour mm -hmm. and uh, how did it look very practical? So um, did you share prayer requests or how did the half an hour look like? Yeah, no, it was not always the same. Kati, uh, the leader of the group, she uh, sometimes gave in a Bible verse and we prayed over that or we just shared about 10 minutes of our lives and what's, what's going on or uh, we, we were talking for 15 minutes and then praying <laughs> for 15 minutes. So it was not always the same, but this makes it also lively and interesting, yeah. Oh, how cool. So I was very inspired about what I heard from Kati and uh, your group. So I started my own prayer group and that's why I wanted to record that and uh, just encourage you to do the same. And Sarah, one very practical uh, thing you would suggest when anyone mm -hmm. who listens want to start this group? Yeah, I would do it. It's really nice because you really share in the in your daily daily uh, works. You share prayer with your friends, even uh, if you live far away from each other. Um, what for me was really important that you have like the same uh, ministry, or you you are, for example, you are all mothers. You are like alone in, alone in your homework. So you can meet for prayers or you have the same ministry or same small group maybe. Same small group, like the same base. You yeah. can also pray for that. That's really strong. And uh, when we when we started when we stopped the ladies ministry, so we also stopped the prayer because it was not uh, anymore. Um, you lost the, the common ground. Yes, exactly. Okay, thank you so much Sarah for sharing and I really hope that you get encouraged to start your own prayer group and just give it a try. Yes.